So we're going to be making a coffee mug and we're going to use a slab of clay. So uh, I've given you a slab of clay. First thing you're going to do is you're going to roll it out. Now you also have these two pencils taped together. That is so um, your clay does not get any thinner than the thickness of a pencil. So lay those down on the side here. As you can see, they will, the roller will just roll on that like, um, like tracks. And start rolling that out. Roll and flip. And you should be standing for this because it does take some effort to roll out some clay. Make sure you stay on those pencils. And then when the clay doesn't roll out anymore, that's how you know you have it at the proper thickness. Because it won't roll out anymore once it's as thick as the clay or as thin or as thin as the pencils. Alright, then make sure that it is about as long as your cardboard. As you can see, that's just about as long as the cardboard. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pick out some textures. And I have these textures right here that you're going to use. And you can do it like a quilt, like a quilted pattern, or you can do it uh, all as one texture. And then you just roll it out. Now I've put a little bit of oil on this so that the plastic doesn't stick to the clay, because plastic tends to stick to clay. That's why they might feel a little oily. Oh, and that texture didn't show up very well there. It did show up really well there. And pretty well there too. And I might just add a different one right there. And I've still got my pencils there so that I don't accidentally push too much into this. Then get your template here. And we're going to use a cutting tool. And this cutting tool is just a quilting um, needle so it's not sharp at all. And I've just put a uh, Q-tip, or I'm sorry, a pack cleaner so we don't lose them. Cut it to size. Save those for later. And then we need to slip and score. So we're going to use this fork and we're going to score it on three sides. The sides and the bottom, but not the top. We don't want score marks on the top because we are going to be drinking from these and we don't want it to to be on the lip of the cup. All right, then we're going to take um, our rolling pin here and wrap it in a cloth. So I'm going to move this out of the way for a second. We just take this cloth, roll it in, and just pop that down inside the tube. Take our textured slab here and roll that on. Add a little slip on that seam. And gently push that together. 